Hello guys, and I am finally back for another review, and today I've got several reviews for you guys, so stay tuned. So anyhow, today I will be reviewing the first doll, which is a Barbie, a new Barbie fashionista that just recently came out. And sorry for the awkward background, well not really awkward, but this is the only background I could find versus the pink towel which I've been using for a long time but I thought I'd try to sh change it up a bit but I couldn't find anything else as a background so we will just have to deal with my Freddy blankie for right now so he's very fuzzy and soft so yeah he'll probably be staring you in the face for the majority of the video but that's just the way things have to be for now so anyhow, on with the review. This doll has the um, Bambi or Joyce face mold. Basically from that, there's those two um, names going around for the uh, mold that this face is. But I always called her the Joyce head mold because she was featured on that first fashionista with the copper curly hair and she had the den denim dress and everyone was calling her Joyce so I call this one the Joyce head mold so she has like really she has that head mold and she has light skin like almost peachy skin and then she has this icy blue hair which is absolutely to die for and she also has these glasses which you can take off which I've already done she has brown eyeshadow on with her brown eyes and she has like peachy lips almost it's just a little like toned down color it's not like a bright peach color she also has some blush on her cheeks too she has this frilly sort of <clears throat> wavy top on and it's white and then the almost kind of mustard yellow skirt with some trimming and stitching throughout and they're both one piece and then she has these amazing I mean when I saw the pictures I didn't know that they were um, I've seen people do reviews over her and I literally had no idea these shoes were you can see that through there her shoes are slightly transparent so I love that they're very pretty I've seen people like complain about her like like the style doesn't go with like the red shoes don't go with anything but I like the combination of the yellow white blue and red I just like the different shades that they've used and I really love all that with her skin tone and her face just ties everything together to me I mean I would have liked to see this a separate piece from that but I mean whatever I mean I'm not complaining I accept it the way it is so that's her and she can now join her twin sister which is the this one is called blue beauty fashionista I believe and then she will join her sister which is oh well with sweetheart stripes there we go she's in a different outfit so I kind of forgot what her name was so we have Blue Beauty and Sweetheart Stripes, both featuring the same head mold and skin tone, and they all ha they both have blue hair. So I figured, you know, they will be twin sisters, although they're not identical twins. So, so yeah, there's those, and I am so happy to say. Now this is just in my area, but my store for those of you who are interested my store has been without sparkle girls if you don't know what sparkle girls are they're by a company called funville and they come in those little sort of like funnel sort of packaging with the wings on them and they basically are like a barbie a mycene and a moxie girl kind of that's what i've always thought but i've had some of them in my videos so here they are but yeah, my Walmart has, my Walmart is not the greatest Walmart. It's a very small Walmart and a lot of the employees slack off there and they don't put things out. So 
my Walmart's been without Sparkle Girls for around three months now. So, well, I, probably even longer. So when I saw these, I was like, oh, I have to get them all. But of course, I was on a tight budget, so I only got these three. So there was also a, basically in the new line, there is genies and superheroes. But the superheroes look kind of like um, space girls because of their, like, metallic clothing and stuff like that so but these are the genies there's also another blue one that has like stars on her pants and she has like curly blue blue hair so but these are the ones i got so this one has her hair in a ponytail and she has it swirled like a piece swirled around her ponytail and she has a braid and then this side is straight and then they have new faces so like the face molds are the same, but they gave them different facial screenings so they don't have the hearts in their eyes. At least these ones don't. So, and then here's her top, very genie-like with a gem in the middle and gold trimming. She has a skirt and then these mesh pants that are very, I love, I, I think her outfit is my favorite by far because just how much detail went into this. And I really love her makeup. She comes with pretty much all the Sparkle Girls come with the same exact gray eyeshadow. So, like, I only think I think I only have one Sparkle Girl that has different eyeshadow, and she had purple eyeshadow. But she was like a deluxe one or something. But yeah, there's that one. Yeah, she's got bangs and stuff. Here's the purple one. She has purple lips and she has green eyes. And she has purple hair, and her hair is done up in this unique style. Her hair is, like, all on her face. Her hair is done up in that bun at the top. She has a middle part. I'm not sure if this one has a hair parting, but she might have one. This one's hair was also done in a ponytail, but it was in a down ponytail. But I took it out because I wanted her hair. And these dolls have long hair, and it's very thick hair. And she has this sort of, like, vest-looking top on. See, it looks like a vest, and there's a top. looks like there's a top behind it, but it's one piece. And then it's green down here and sparkly. And then that's purple and sparkly, and she has a really pretty gem. And then down here, she has these pants that are, like, stretchy. See, they're, they remind me of Jasmine. Basically, their style reminds me of Jasmine from Aladdin. And Jasmine herself even looks fairly genie-like because of her hairstyle and her outfit. So that's one reason I've loved... I mean, I didn't know how much I loved genie dolls until I saw these. And I was like... And I've always been a fan of Jasmine, so... I was like, oh, I have to have these. So when I see the other blue one, I will get her and I'll try to do a review over her. But for now, these are the only ones. But yeah, this material is like really soft and stretchy. And they all come with these gummy shoes. Hers are off right now. I have to go find them, but yeah. And then here's her outfit. Her outfit's very wild looking. Very, very fierce. Like brightly colored and warm. So she has this intense pink hair. It's not hot pink. It's just very high colored pink hair. And then she has the same face as that one, except her lips are pink this time. And then here is her outfit, very, like, Aladdin-looking, genie-like. I love this material. Like, they put a mesh over, like, that material, and it looks really cool. Like, it looks two-toned. And then there's this sort of fuzzy-ish glitter material, and she has a gem, too. And there's her pants, only there. They would look like they were the same as those, but they're not. Like, this is stretchy and really soft, and this is, like, you know, like, swimsuit material that dries really fast if it gets wet. So, yeah. So, that is all of those very colorful dolls, and I am so happy with them. One thing I will note about the Sparkle Girls is some of them actually... And there's no way of telling this, really, but some of them actually have bend and snap knees i will note those two do not which is weird because they're all in the same line together whether the one the other blue haired one had bendy knees i don't know but 
you can like hear her knees popping so she has the bend and snap knees these ones on the other hand you could bend them all day and nothing's gonna happen so I mean they are flexible but they don't snap they don't click into place so there's those and then I realized uh, there was another important character I never did a review over I know some of you might not be interested in this but I feel I would show him anyway so I will do a review over this handsome fellow right here so he was the Chucky that I got around February when I went and I made my Chuck E. Cheese videos and so I'm going to do a review over this handsome guy so here we go so he has the sweetest little face and he's got really pretty green eyes he's got the sweetest little smile and his muzzle is so pudgy and cute his nose is very buttony and fuzzy like you just want to boop his nose he's got very chubby cheeks He's got these dimples in his cheeks, which is absolutely adorable. I love his big ears. I mean, I've been a long time, long term Chucky fan for a long time. I mean, Chuck E. Cheese was one of my favorite places when I was a kid. So, very, very special place in my heart. He has the traditional modern style um, outfit that he wears. So, he's got his purple yellow and green shirt with his initial on there and the green stripe i love his tail so soft and fuzzy and i love his jeans they look very attractive on him and then he's got his sonic sneakers as i like to call them because we all remember those types from sonic the hedgehog which iconically wore those back in the 90s so but yes there's this this lovely guy here and just so y'all are wondering he is on the same scale as like Barbie or something like that so like a lot of creative play if any children out there like this sort of stuff and y'all are watching yes that he is definitely Barbie size so y'all can like make them all go on adventures together and stuff I just like to use him as a snuggle buddy and he stays in my bed with me so Anyhow, those are my, that is my review, and I hope you guys enjoyed this little review that I to put on for you guys, so thank you guys for watching, and for more videos to come, remember to stay true to you. Thank you for watching.